Okay guys, so we've done cheapest mom, cheapest woman, cheapest man. But guess what? I have another very cheap mother for you today. Y'all remember this woman, right? Who reuses her boiling water? This is my reusable boiling water. Yes, I know it may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more money on my water bill. She gonna reuse chunky water. Her kids don't finish their ranch. She gonna put the ranch right back into the bottle. Every food and drink that we have in this house. See, she's pretty cheap, but we got another one today. Apple Malesho's obsession to save money is her driving passion. Keep in mind, her name is Apple. Oh, what is that? Oh, look. Kids leave toys all the time. If they're unclaimed, why not pick them up and take it home with you? Because they're free. Yes, they might be free. But so is an infection. So are germs. They're literally everywhere. Why don't we just eat out of a restaurant's garbage can while we're at it? You know, just like go to a restaurant, wait for people to be done with their food, and take the leftovers. I mean, anything to save money, right, Apple? But I mean, who does this? I wouldn't even let my dogs do this. Like, if I see a dirty used dog toy that magically ends it up in my backyard. I don't know if my neighbors threw it in or something. Like, I will throw that shit away hella quick. I am not letting my dog play with something that other dogs have played with. <laughs> but I mean, that's just me. She out here taking used toys that she found in a playground and giving it to her daughter. I mean, I'm hoping she cleans it, sterilizes it with bleach or something, but shit's even missing a tire. It's missing two tires. What are you gonna do with a broken car? Come on, Apple. You gotta really use your head in this situation. It's perfect. It's really fine. We just wash it off and it's clean. It's missing two wheels. She could still play with it, Vic. It's broken. If you find a brand new iPad, or I don't know, like an Elsa doll, Moana doll, whatever the hell kids play with these days, and it's like new, yeah, okay, I understand just taking it, but she's talking about just cleaning it. You don't know what like germs live in there and where germs are gonna stay inside the plastic and, oh, you are triggering the germaphobe in me. Like, I cannot understand how somebody could give that to their kid. When we first had Chloe, I noticed her being frug more frugal than she normally, <laughs> normally was. Suddenly I stopped producing breast milk, so now I collect breast milk for my friends. Uh, see, I'm not a mom. I don't know if this is weird or normal. I think it's weird. Aren't there like baby formulas that you could give to your kids? I mean, I can't imagine going up to my friends and be like, hey, pop that titty out real quick. My daughter, she's hungry. See, I can't do that myself, so can like you do it for me? And it's just chilling in her freezer. They're all labeled. How many friends she got giving her milk? Amy is for my yoga class. Uh, Jessica is actually one of my co-workers. Chloe prefers Jessica's milk over anyone else's breast milk. I mean, this is her fave. She'll drink the others, but this is more her preference. So you're telling me little kids have a preference? What kind of breast milk they drink? I didn't know there was like, oh, here, this is the one I like. It's a preference. And hold up, she's gonna take it for something from her yoga class? Like what, she's just gonna see any pregnant woman? Hey, I know this might sound really weird, but I just stopped producing breast milk myself and I was wondering if I could have some of yours. I don't know about you guys, I'm not a mom. I have no experience with these things. I don't know if this is normal, but I just think it's a little weird. You know, like I would just give my kids some like baby formula that you buy in the store. Like you don't know what's in other people's milk. I mean, I understand if it's coming from you, but if it's coming from other people, you don't know what's in it. I want to give my kid other people's milk. Free breast milk saves Apple over a thousand dollars a year off the cost of fortified toddler milk. Oh, okay. So it saves her a thousand dollars. But her husband just looking at her like, what the hell? Even the baby looking at her like, mom, me. What's wrong with you? Having a baby made me more obsessed with saving money. People buy baby wipes, moist towelettes, but instead I like to make them at home. Okay, I know, I get it. Babies are like really expensive, but she taking this way too far. I hope you're gonna use all this money you saved for college for the baby or something. Okay. There you go, you have moist towelettes. Tell me why those moist towelettes looking a little dry. They're not even moist. You put like this much water. It's gonna like hella soak it up. God damn woman. That roll of tissues looking drier than her tit. <laughs> hey, she said it, not me. Wipe my hands with it. And uh, or wipe the tables, like our, my kitchen table, my kitchen counter. This is totally reusable still. So I use the wipe to wipe her bum with. Hold on, she's saying she will wipe down the table and then reuse the wipe that she just wiped the table with to wipe her daughter's bum. 
Okay, Apple, this is when you're taking it too far. I feel like her kid is gonna get an infection or something. It's like germs do not exist to her. First of all, we're using kids' toys that they could have like slobbered on. You don't know where they've been. And now you're gonna wipe down a table and use that same wipe to wipe your kid. Why? You making them yourself anyway. It's like you got hella wipe. A changing table is one of the most expensive <laughs> things that a new mom has to buy. So instead of spending $200, <laughs> I got mine for free at a gas station that was going out of business. Oh my god. I like how behind her is a ton of clothes. It looks like she spends hella money on herself. But she gonna be so cheap with her daughter. Like, look at this. Are you serious? She even duct taped it to the wall. Y'all can't just put down a towel or something and change the baby's diaper on the floor? Or like on the table or a counter or something? I didn't know you had to buy an actual baby changing table. I mean, we never had that growing up. I think my mom would just change her diaper like anywhere. But this girl, this is just the duct tape and everything just holding it up. What if that duct tape is like yeetus to the fetus and just decides to drop one day while you're changing her diaper? This is a safety hazard. I'll tell you, I feel like this girl doesn't care about her kid. What did you guys' moms change your diapers in? I want to know. There's even like scribble and stuff. Like something tells me she didn't even clean it good. I thought it's kind of weird. Things from the gas station aren't clean. People use changing tables all the time, so why not use this one? Hmm, maybe because it's dirty and from a gas station? I'd rather change the baby's diaper on the floor. She's also found a way to save $450 on diapers themselves. And cut the sleeves off. And then fold the flaps. And there you go. Okay, see that's not bad, but I mean how many t-shirts are you gonna go through doing this? And I've heard about cloth diapers, they're supposed to be legit. This is actually a legit hack. I mean this girl, Apple, she's trying to be a walk-in life hack video. Except some of the life hacks are really stupid. <laughs> now that I think about it, I have seen her before. I swear I have seen her. Oh my god, it is her. Here she is, Apple again, buying used lingerie. Buying lingerie in the thrift store is a great way to spice things up in the bedroom. Ugh. Yep, I'm convinced. She does not care about germs. Germs do not exist to her. I would not buy used underwear. I didn't even know they sell used underwear. Would you wear used underwear? Comment below. Some people think that shopping at a thrift store for lingerie is gross. You know, I don't see anything wrong with it. I wonder how many people have worn this. It looks a little crusty too. She said it, not me. She said it was crusty. But she's still gonna smell it and wear it. Girl, you wild. <laughs> she's just gonna walk out of the dressing group into the store and just check herself out in the mirror. That looks cute. <laughs> oh, thanks. I said, okay, who am I to judge? She's wearing the underwear. She's dead ass wearing the used underwear. It's not right if it's a little crusty. Man, if I was her husband, I'd be like, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Spice things up? Hepatitis is not a spice. You nasty b- What in the world? <laughs> Girl, that does not fit. Just take it off. Go home to your child, please. <sighs> this is so uncomfortable. Tags on the back, actually. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Sure. $2.99? $2.99 is a little out of my price range. $2.99 is a little out of my price range. Then don't buy it. You know, you could go to like Walmart and get brand new underwear for $2.99. Who would have known? If you gotta smell something before you buy it, you probably shouldn't buy it. Especially if it's underwear. I mean, we talking about a sweater, t-shirt, used stuff. That's all Gucci. But when it comes to underwear, you don't know where that's been. Actually, you do, but you choose to ignore it. <laughs> Anyways, here are some more acceptable ways to save money. These are probably stuff that we've all done. Oh, like this. You know when the soap is almost finished? Good old fill it up with water. I've done this all the time. Like some soap is like really thick and I don't like that and I like it when it's like watered down. <laughs> I guess that's normal. This mother who took all the Christmas wrapping paper, she's saving it for next Christmas because she's reusing it. Look at some of 
these pieces here? How could you even reuse some of these pieces? I mean, even I do this. I save some wrapping paper if it's like a big piece that is flawless. I will do that. <laughs> Especially with tissue paper. If it's like fancy tissue paper, I will take the tissue paper and I'll save it. Mm-mm-mm. Guilty. Oh, call TLC. Sniper Wolf, you a cheap I used to be a lot cheaper than I am now. This mom saved some of her kids' Halloween candy to use it in Easter eggs. Mother! This is like withholding taxes, but for kids. Like, take their candy, give it to them a few months later. Ugh, but wouldn't it be like stale and crusty? No. No. Whose mom's is this? That put plastic cups in the dishwasher. Can you even do that? Wouldn't they melt? They're plastic. This mother who uses so many coupons that every receipt is as tall as her or you just bought like three things at CVS Some places got hella long receipts. I don't know why <laughs> This mom who always sneaks snacks into the movies. She got two cokes M&Ms nerds a half-eaten candy bar Oh, we good to go legit though My mom used to do this all the time every single time that we would go to the movies when I was a kid She would make popcorn put them in brown bags. She would bring soda. She would bring candy She would bring like every Everything. We would prepare for the movies and then we wouldn't spend a cent on food there I mean, we never complained about it. We didn't think it was weird or anything My mom would just give me a bag of popcorn from her bag and be like here you go i will be like cool <laughs> this mom who uses butter containers for leftovers low-key This is actually a good idea and a butter container for popcorn. Hey, it actually worked can't complain It's actually a good life hack and this one who uses the butter container for the bath man who got a butter container that big I'm a butter container like this big we got a huge ass thing. America, where people go through a gallon of butter a week. I mean, some of these are pretty good, some of them are straight up stupid. Well, I hope you learned a way to save money today. Or I hope you learned that some ways are just not worth it. But yeah, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And comment below if your mom does anything cheap like this. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.